welcome to Super Bell Sews. My name's Sarah. Thanks for joining me today. Um, again, another new backdrop. I'm up at my parents' house in Hexham. Um, we drove up yesterday because we're meeting the vicar today for the final time before our wedding. It's three weeks to go today. Um, so yes, so I didn't get to post yesterday because the drive took seven hours. So two hours longer than normal, which is, was not good, but there you go. Um, so I didn't have time to film this yesterday. Now I don't have the things that I've made this week with me because there was just no need to bring them and we had to fill the car up with some wedding stuff that we needed to bring here. Um, but I'm gonna talk you through and then I'll show you them next Friday so's. And then I've bought a few things to cut, cut out for my mini moon wardrobe. So I'm going to talk you through that. So first up, today you can't see this very well but I'm wearing um, the LED dress. Is it, what was it called? LED dress um, in a viscose linen um, and I have such a love-hate relationship with this dress because overall I love how it looks but I just I've spoken before about having issues with getting the neckline to fit and how it gapes and I thought it was because it needed length taken out of the front but I did that with the, the sequin gown version I made and I actually just pulled everything forward more and you can see the shoulder seams now are like pulling forward so I think actually I need to possibly add more length to the front. Like I think the reason it's pulling forward and gaping is because it's too short in the front. So it has to sort of pull to get over my bust basically. Um, I need to just have some time to play around with it because it's so close to being a really wearable pattern for me, but the fit is just off. And I just don't know if it's appropriate to just have my boobs out all day. I suppose it depends where you are. But yeah, so that's that. Um, the other things I've been sewing up this week, I have almost finished my oversized sweatshirt. Uh, I was quite happy. I had to improvise a bit with the sleeves and the cuffs, but it's ended up having quite a nice little feature, which I will show you on Friday. Um, the only thing I'm changing is I had these patches. Uh, I was going to put my new initials um, on the sweatshirt um, and the patches are like, uh, they've got pearl, little pearls on. And I love them, but when I put them on the sweatshirt, they just don't quite look right. So I'm thinking, I have some gold letter patches that are just gold with white out, like gold um, embroidery thread with white outline. Um, and I also have some non-letter patches. So I'm just gonna have a think what I think will look best with that. But that won't take much time once it's on. Um, my pajamas are coming along really nicely. So these are the Closet Core Carolyn pajamas in a stripe velvet in ivory. Um, they are really almost finished. I've got to sew the buttons on. Um, and then I've had a slight issue with the trousers, which is basically, I ran out of fabric. So the fabric was gifted to me by Minerva.com. Um, I used the, um, I requested the recommended amount, um, but it's just not quite enough to just finish off the length of the trousers. So I was like, I'll just cut them to whatever length I can and see. So I ended up with like three quarter length which I thought would be fine, but I put them on and basically I think I look like a pirate. And if you let me, allow me to explain why it made me feel like a pirate. Um, I am the musical director at a, a theatre group and in their showcase last year, they did a scene from Peter Pan and um, all of the kids were wearing these three quarter length trouser things with like little raggedy edges and Mine don't have raggedy edges, but just all I could see when I put it on is it's like, I look like a pirate. So I've had to order more of the fabric just so I can add. So I'm going to put really deep cuffs on the bottom um, to make them full length, which I think will be a less sort of Captain Hook vibe look. It wasn't even Captain Hook vibes. He would wear a full length trouser. I would say it was like more of a shmee, a shmee vibe. Um, smee, shmee, I can't remember. Anyway. Um, so yeah, but they're almost done and I have to say they're a bit more understated than what I, I normally make. Um, but I think they look really expensive actually. I'm quite pleased with them. So I'll show you those next week. And then the other two things I've made, one is finished, one is almost finished, are, um, things for our mini moon. So I made a version of the So House 7 toaster sweater, um, in a chunky cable knit in like a wine colour. Um, I've made that pattern before, but only in a French terry. And I'm pleased with how it's turned out, actually. It's super cosy. I doubled the depth of the um, funnel 
collar. This is not all flannel collar. The like tall collar. Um, because I wanted it to be able to fold over. Um, which has worked really nicely as well. And it's actually got me thinking, well, it might be quite nice to make a sweater dress out of that pattern. I was thinking maybe merging the top part of the toaster with the bottom part of the billy sweater dress just to get that shape. I just thought that might be a really nice cozy winter dress. So I might try and do something like that. Um, the cable knit fabric was quite expensive, but the toaster doesn't use much fabric. So it was okay. Um, and then I'm also making a gathered skirt out of the fabric godmother viscose that I showed you last week. Um, that's almost done. I just need to attach the waistband, but the waistband is constructed. The skirt is constructed. I have not hemmed it because I want to wait till I've got it on. Um, I'm doing elasticated waist, so it's pretty quick to put this all together. I slightly regret, I made, I want it to be really, have loads of volume. So I basically split the fabric into four sections and then so it's four gathered sections going round, but it's a bit bulky and I sort of wish it was a bit longer. So I should have done three and then I would have had a bit more length, but you live and you learn. And I think it will still be kind of cute. So it's going to be fine. Right. So what else do I have to show you? My remaining plans. Now I have three garment, uh, garments up here to cut out and I have one at home because I couldn't find the pattern piece. So I'm thinking we're going to Scotland for our mini moon. I've pretty much finished sewing up everything for the wedding now. I need to finish off those pyjamas. I need to add patches to my sweater and I need to hem the flower girl dresses. They're all coming next weekend to try them on so I can do all of that then. Um, and so I've been thinking, what do I want to make to take away afterwards? We have three nights in Edinburgh, three nights at a nice hotel in Loch Lomond. So I'm thinking there'll be the occasion to dress up for dinner and stuff, but mostly we're thinking cosy autumn. So I've got my sweater, I've got my skirt already that I was just, just telling you about. I was watching Jenny Stitches live. She does these Friday lives now, which are so good. But I work on Friday evenings, so I always have to watch them on YouTube later. Um, and I'd sent in a request to see this crepe back satin fabric that I've been eyeing up for ages. Um, and it's in a shade called Lipstick. And one of the reasons I actually wasn't sure about it was the thread in the image looked a bit more like pinky but the fabric looked more red and I was like oh is it like a pinky lipstick or a ready lipstick and anyway she showed it on the live and it looked gorgeous so I've ordered some of this now it's showing up as being like on my camera as being a bit more of like a tomato-y shade I think but it's it's not just I don't know how that looks to you to me it looks like it's got orange undertones but it's sort of like a deeper it's a really gorgeous shade of red um it's got beautiful drape this is the satin side. So you see it's shiny, but it's not like, you know, satin sometimes can be like a bit of a tacky, um, like a luster, but this one doesn't. And then you've got the crepe side here, but it's still, it's quite soft crepe. Um, so I need to play around. I don't know if I'm going to go for the satiny side or the crepe side, but my plan is to make the Sicily slip dress. I'll pop a picture of that here. Um, now, I have no idea if this is going to suit me or not. It's very much outside of my comfort zone um, in terms of styles of dresses that I normally wear. But I have seen lots of, because obviously slip dresses have been very in the last year or so, and I've seen it on lots of different body types, and I thought it's it's actually suited lots of people really well. I love that draped neckline. Um, and the other thing is, obviously, are you crazy wearing a strappy dress in Scotland in October? But no, I'm not, because I thought what I'd do is wear it with, I have this also cotton, black cotton jersey. Um, and I'm going to make another little toaster with a little polo neck vibe to wear underneath, which I think will be cute. And that will also fit under at least two of the other things that I'm planning on making. So, yeah, so imagine like a little sort of drapey red number, um, silky number. And then this underneath just to like give a bit of coverage and dress it down a bit. Um, yeah, so that's one thing I'm planning on cutting out this weekend. The reason I've brought stuff to cut out is because my parents' house has a big breakfast bar and it's so good for cutting out one. It's so much quicker. So I was like, if I bring everything up here, I can just zh, 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 get it all done. And then it means I can sew, just get home, be very efficient when I have time and sew. Cutting takes me forever. I'm very inefficient cutter. 
So, um, yeah, so that's two items. And then the third, <clears throat> I should say both of those are from Jenny Stitches. Um, this fabric is from Dalston Mills and it's a jumbo cord. Um, I think it was 4.5 whale, I think. So the whale, you probably know what the whale is, but it's the number of um, the ridge things you can fit into an inch. So the lower the number, the chunkier the rib. Um, and I am going to make some Erin dungarees, which is Tilly and Button's pattern. Um, this will be more for sort of lounging around in. I made a pair for the Jenny Stitches um, vlog last year in like a darker purple, which I loved. Um, I did find though, I need to reinforce, you know, these thighs, thick thighs, save lives. Um, they, it was like quite a fine cord I used for that. And it was just too much heavy duty work for that cord between my legs. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to like reinforce the inner thigh seams. Just, I think because the fabric's quite rough as well, when it rubs against each other, it like can do quite a lot of um, damage because it's quite textured. So I'm going to come up with something there, hopefully. But this color is called Berry. Um, and it is a sort of purpley, pinky purpley color. Um, I think it'll be kind of cute. And then from my stash, I've taken out this fabric, which is left over from, uh, what was it called? Big Sew Off. Um, I made an Alba Sew Over Alba skirt. This is the fabric left over. So I'm going to use this. This is a Ginkgo Viscose, which was from Jenny Stitches as well. Um, and I'm going to line with that. Oh, that might be kind of cute. Um, I didn't want to buy extra lining fabric, so I just thought it was unnecessary, um, considering no one else really sees the lining. Um, so yeah, those are the things I'm cutting out this weekend. Is it obscene to think I'm going to get that sewn up? Don't know. But I figure if I've got it cut out, I can just sew what I can sew, and I'll live without the rest. I actually have, so our wedding's in three weeks, but me and my mum are coming up here the week before, and I won't be bringing my sewing machine. So I can hand sew up here a bit, but... The main sewing has to be done. So I've got two weeks, basically. Um, obviously, the flower girl's coming for their fittings next week. So some of my sewing time next week will be taken up with finishing the bottom of their dresses. Um, but I did get a lot done this week. So I just think if I focus, if I just focus, I can get, yeah, I can get some stuff done. There's one other item that I've got the fabric for, not with me, um, because I couldn't find the pattern. So I, I'll try and put a picture of the fabric here so you can see it. Um, it's like a wool check with black and pink. I also got this from Jenny Stitches um, and I got a lining fabric as well um, because I want to make a sort of pinafore dress. Um, so I'm going to make something similar to, I don't know if you remember when I made my organza Lyra dress. Um, so I initially made the organza overlay, which I'll put here. And then I went to my friend's wedding and I wanted a more, initially I wore it just with a ready to wear like cheap slip dress underneath. And when I was wearing it to this my friend's wedding, I wanted to have a more structured dress underneath. So I used the cashmere Upton pattern um, to make a little square neck dress. And then I used the bodice pattern basically. And then I improvised my own little mini skirt. Um, and I thought it looked really cute in the end. So I wanted to use the same idea. So square neck, sleeveless, and then with a little self-drafted mini skirt to make a sort of pinafore dress. So I would wear my black turtleneck. It's gonna be doing a lot of work this holiday, that turtleneck. Um, uh, yeah, so I'd wear that underneath that as well. Um, I could not find my cashmere Upton pattern anywhere. So I don't know if I've put it in storage, which I didn't think I would because it's a pattern I use quite a lot, but maybe I did. Um, honestly, the stuff I've picked, so obviously because we've moved out of our house, I had to select what's the fabric I'm going to take with me, what's the fabric to go into storage, what are the patterns I'm going to take with me, what which patterns go into storage, because we just didn't have room for everything. Um, and I made some really bad decisions, but there you go. Um, <laughs> I, I, I packed way too much summer stuff, because when we moved out, it was July, and I was thinking I'll do loads of summer sewing, and I've actually done barely any. It was over the summer, I just sewed wedding stuff, really. Um... And now it's getting into autumn and I don't have enough autumn fabrics or um, patterns. So I've been on a bit of a spree recently, which isn't very good, is it? But there you go. Um, 
yeah so I it's just really difficult to plan so anyway I'm waffling couldn't find my cashmere upton um and in the end I I'm just going to print because I only actually need the bodice I I'm going to just print in A4, reprint the bodice. This is the plus of having the um, PDF patterns rather than the paper patterns. Um, yeah, I'm just going to print it off in A4 at home, cut out the bodice pieces again, and then get that little dress made up, which hopefully will be kind of cute. So those are the plans. As I said, next week, I'll show you the garments that I've spoken about, but I haven't been able to show you today. I've also not photographed any of the wedding-y things really because I want to photograph them at the time, uh, me wearing them I mean, so um, yeah, so I know it's a bit of a funny one because I've not been able to share all of the details but hopefully it'll be worth it. So I'll show you some of the garments on here next week and um, yeah, and hopefully I'll have some more to show you, fingers crossed, and hopefully I'll have pyjamas that don't make me look like a child pirate, fingers, fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's it really. The other thing is, I probably won't get this posted until later on Saturday. It's Saturday morning now, but we're off to see the vicar. Um, so the so safari, it's the last day today. So people will be posting until midnight. Do go and check out the hashtag. There are some really, really gorgeous makes on there. Really big variety. Leopard print, definitely the front runner, but there are all sorts of really nice prints. There was some gorgeous dungarees child's dungarees yesterday in this really beautiful fabric that I hadn't seen before um so yeah it's worth having a look and thank you so much if you've entered there are some really good prizes so I'm very excited to draw them I've got a little bit of work to do before I can do the draw because I've I've managed to work out mostly whether people are from the UK or elsewhere but there are a few people I haven't so I just need to chase because we will have two lists so one with everyone on one with UK only on because some of the prizes are UK only and some are worldwide. So there's a bit of admin to do and life is, as you know, a bit crazy at the minute. So um, yeah, but it will all be fine. Uh, so yeah, so thank you so much if you've entered. You still have a few hours, possibly not when you watch this video, I don't know. But from now you have like, I think 14 hours or something to still enter. Uh, so it's gotta be before midnight on Saturday, 30th of September. Um, your animal related makes and um, yeah fab prizes up for offer I can't remember all of them but there's like a £50 Jenny Stitches voucher um, there's an all set to sew box from Little Miss So and So there are vouchers from um, Little Rosie Cheeks there's a year of Stash Hub membership there's so many good things there's some adorable key rings and a necklace from Craft Crafty Clyde uh, patterns from Sew Over It fabrics from Eliza Mack I'm sure I've gotten some. Anyway, there's loads of really good prizes, so um, it is worth entering. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I am planning on making a Friday Sews video next week, so I will hopefully see you then. Um, yeah, have a great week, guys.